Hello. What I'm going to be talking about in this video is how you can use ggplot2 when you want to have multiple graphs at the same time. So how can we do that? So let's say we want to have a scatter plot and a line plot, or we want two line plots next to each other. And there's lots of options for what we, want, we might want to do, and it turns out to be pretty easy to do in ggplot2. So the first thing we're going to talk about is if we want multiple graphs on the same set of axes. So like a scatter plot and then a line plot over the top of it, things like that. Now, all you have to do is just add geometries onto each other. You know, you, you start with the scatter plot geometry, geom point, plus geom line. Suddenly you have a point graph with a line graph on top of it. Uh, so we can sort of see how this works. Uh, so here's an example where I have a, a point geometry, right? So you can see the scatter plot is over there. Uh, and I'm going to add on top of it a smooth geometry. What geom smooth does is it fits a line to my data. Uh, and so this is going to just, that's all it does. Takes my point geometry, drew that, add on top of it with the plus, I, my smooth geometry, and so I get both of them on the same graph. Easy as that. Uh, you can get a little bit more complex if you want to change some things uh, between the different geometries. And we can totally reset the data or the aesthetic from geometry to geometry. So for example, I could do a point geometry where I color it separately by weight, like I do here. I could then add on another point geometry where I color it separately by something else. And all I'd have to do is reset the aesthetic function inside of that new geometry. Or I can change the data, which is actually something that I end up doing quite a bit. So let's say, for example, I want to have a scatter plot and I want to label some of the points, just some of them, right? So I'm going to have my geom point, so I have all my point data all around there. Uh, so I want to add a text geometry, but I only want to add a text geometry for some of the cars, because otherwise it would get a little it would get a little crowded. So I'm going to do a geom text repel from the gg repel package, and this what this is this is a uh, like geom text where it, it gives the the actual um, the label of the uh, of the row there, um, but with the repel part, set make sure that it doesn't overlap with everything, so it sort of moves things so that they're not just all uh, text over overlapping each other but I'm resetting both the data and the aesthetic in this new geometry. So I'm not, uh, I, I set the, the data to be empty cars up here, but I don't want to plot the text of every single car. I only want to do it of the first five cars. That's what I'm doing here, taking empty cars. I'm doing slice, which just picks those first, uh, slice one to five, which picks the first five rows. And I'm only going to put that, that data into the uh, GM text repel. And then I'm going to do my aesthetic function. Now, when you reset an aesthetic function, in a new geometry, it will carry through all the old stuff. So I'm setting aesthetic label equals car name because geom text repel takes label for the text. That's, that's the axis that it has is label uh, for the text. Um, but it's still going to have x uh, equals mpg, y equals hb, and color equals weight from before. So notice how it's still in the same x and y position as the original data points. I've just added on this new label. If I want to, to change what the X or Y or, col or color variables were, I would need to reset them uh, here in this new geometry. So that's how you can overlay one kind of geometry on top of another, either not having to reset anything, just adding on geometries, or changing the data and or the aesthetic as you add a new geometry. We can also do what are, uh, faceting. So if I want to, uh, uh, do, so uh, ggplot is really great at graphing things separately by group, right? We can say color equals group name, and it will give me a different color for each group. But what if instead of uh, wanting them all overlapping each other with different colors, I want a separate graph for each group, right? Just, and I set those graphs next to each other. Well, for that, I can use facets. So I can take my ggplot uh, point geometry, which only has x equals mpg and y equals horsepower. Notice no color equals cylinders here. Uh, and I can say facet wrap cylinders, and this will give me a different graph for each value that the cylinders variable takes, and they're just all next to each other. That's basically it. Uh, that's how we can plot multiple uh, kinds of graphs with a single uh, ggplot object, either stacking geometries on top of each other on the same set of axes, or using facets to put multiple graphs next to each other. Uh, there is one thing I didn't cover, which is how you can take multiple entirely separate ggplot graphs and put them in sort of a tile. Like maybe you have uh, one graph that you made up here, another graph that you made down here, another graph that you made down here. Lots of different ways uh, to do this. Uh, some one of my, I, I'm not going to go into it here, but you might check out the cow plot package, which is one way of graphing out a grid of entirely separate ggplot objects. 
Other good packages that, that do similar things are ggpubr uh, is a good way of doing it, or Patchwork has some particularly interesting syntax. They all do very similar things. Uh, you can really check out any one of them and it will allow you to save your individual ggplot graphs and then arrange them as you like into a single image or document. All right, that's it. Thank you very much.